Hey guys, in this video, I'll not only be giving you a free lot, I'll also be showing you how to get all the cinematic lots you ever need for color grading your images. With no further ado, let's get started. So right here on this Facebook page, colorpalette.cinema, you can see footages from all your favorite Hollywood movies. Do you know you can copy any of these color grading and apply it to your image, just anyone you like. You can apply it right in Photoshop and the process is very very easy. I'll be showing you in this video. So let's say I like the skin tone from this particular footage. All I have to do is to click on the image, right click, save image as, and now I'm going to save this image into my desktop. If there's any other one I can download, I've downloaded some already. So I'm just showing you how to do it. So when you get the footage from this Facebook page, come into your Photoshop right here in Photoshop. Uh, this is the result we are going to get. So I will delete it so that I'll show you exactly how to do the process. So right here in Photoshop, uh, duplicate the background layer. This is the image we are going to color grade. This one is not color graded yet. So let's name it color grade. So this layer, why on this layer, come to your filter and then locate retouch for me. If you're not seeing retouch for me in your Photoshop right now, I'm going to show you how to get it. So click on retouch for me. Let me just show you how it works first. So why you click on retouch for me, click on the retouch for me color match. So it's going to open up like this. Now, right here in the reference, load reference, click on load reference. Locate the folder where the image you downloaded is. This one of the images. So we are going to load it into the retouch for me color match. And you are going to get this effect like this right here in Photoshop. So this is the color grading. This was the before. Uh, this is the after. You can adjust the luminance by using this slider right here. You can reduce or increase the luminance to your taste. Also the color, you can adjust the color. And when you're okay with it, you can apply that. Or if you don't like that particular color grading, you can try out another one. So we are going to load another reference. This is the reference. You load it into the retouch for me color match. And now you can adjust the luminance and the color to taste. And when you're okay, you can preview by pressing the space bar on your keyboard. To see the before and the after when you're okay with the results you can apply that particular reference to your image just like this this was the before and this is the after before i show you how to apply lots which is another function of this plugin you, you can go on to refine this color grading to get a top professional look by maxing out this effect from areas you don't want it to be applied or even reducing it let me show you a quick maxing trick. So apply a layer max to this particular color grade layer. Ctrl I or Command I to invert that layer to remove the effect from the image. Now zoom in. I want this effect more on the skin tone. So take your brush, make sure your foreground is white. We are going to paint white on the skin to review the effect or on the layer max. My opacity is 100, flow is 100, I can reduce the flow to have more control. And we are, we are going to paint over the skin of these two beautiful couples to reveal the effect of this color grading on their skin. So just roughly do this because I'll show you a trick on how to blend the maxing. So just max it out like this. Now, why on the layer max come to your properties, layer max properties, if you're on this, Layer, you are going to see the layer properties, but make sure you click on the layer max to see the layer max properties. Now we are going to fade out the, the layer max. You can see the effect of zero fader and you can see the effect of 36 pixels fader. So it's going to blend the transition from the maxed to the unmaxed. So after applying the fader like this, you can adjust the density by moving the density of the layer max down like this. You are going to apply 50% layer max to the areas that have been maxed out, meaning the skin tone is going to be more pronounced from the reference we applied, while the areas we maxed out is going to have 50% of the color grading. Hope you understand. If you don't, let me know in the comment section right now.
So here's the before and here's the after. And now this color grading effect is now more beautiful, more professional looking. And you can check my Instagram to see the result. So this is not the only thing you can do with this retouch for me color match plugin. Take a look at this image, washed out low pixels image. How many of you can recognize the couples in this image? Let me know in the comment section right now. So in order to apply a very cinematic color grading to this scene from a Nollywood footage, duplicate the background layer, rename this color. Now come to the filter, retouch for me, load color match. So instead of loading a reference, which we can if we want, we can easily apply lot using the lot manager. So click on the lot manager. Right now it's going to load lots from the lot cloud of the retouch for me. Server is going to load lots from the retouch for me website. You can see several lots here. And you can see the preview of the lot when it's being applied to your image. And not just that, you can also load lots from your local disk. So if you click on this one right here. It's going to load lot from your local disk and you'll be able to see the preview so that you don't have to be clicking going back and forth you are seeing the preview in real time these are amazing lots i have on my desktop so i think i prefer this one with the cyan in the background and the orange on the skin tone this is called the teal and orange cinematic color grading lot we can load that on our image by clicking on the lot we want And here was the before, this is the after. This is amazing, right? Not just this my lot. You can load lots from here as well. From the Retouch For Me cloud. Just like the one on our desktop, you can see their preview. So once you find the lot you like, just like loading from the local disk, just click on it and it's going to be applied on your image. Here's the before and here's the after. If you really like this lot and you want to use it on another image, just come to export lot, click on export lot, give it a name, let's name this new cinematic. And now you can save it to your desktop. And any other time you want to apply, you can just go search for that lot through the lot manager and apply it on your image. It's as simple as that. For those of you asking of how to get this particular plugin, Check the link in the description right now to get 20% discount off every plugin you purchase using the link in the description. Especially for professional retouchers and photographers, this is a very handy plugin. There's nothing such out there. It's just this one. It's a game changer for all of us. I'll be using it on my image. You can check my Instagram to see amazing color grading I've done using this particular plugin. So get it right now at the best rate. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section right now. Have you tried this out before? Let me know in the comment section right now. Please don't forget to like this video. All the links are in the description and you can also check the pin comment for other links. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tip, tricks and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.